Good evening, dear students. Welcome to tonight's session. Can you hear me well? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Hey, how's it going tonight? How is your day going? Huh? Welcome to tonight's session. I'm glad to it was be a with good you today. Day, teacher. Oh, yeah? Why? It, it was a good day because I went to the hospital with my great-grandfather because he had a medical appointment and I really loved to spend my time with him. That's glad. That's great. I'm glad you have the time. Okay, Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Good we have a little bad connection there. Um, anyways, welcome to you all. I'm very excited to have you in the session tonight. Um, watch your background noises, please. And well, I can see many people connected. That's very, that's very satisfactory for me. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the attendance real quick. That's the first step. So I'll call out, I call out your name and let me know if you are here so I can put that check mark in your file. Okay, I think I have it here. One second. Okay. So I have, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I have Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Good evening, teacher. All right, perfect. Hold on. Here you go. Okay, um, Byron, Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Good evening, sir. I am here. Good Great. evening. Good evening. Welcome, sir. And Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Awesome. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I am here, teacher. Cool. Okay, that looks better. Carlos and Claudia Beatriz Ramos the most. Damaris Medari Marroquín Rivas. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Elmer Mauricio. Great, Elmer. How's it going, Elmer? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, Elmer. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. I'm here, teacher. All right. Great. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josepheth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. All right. Welcome. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present, teacher. All right. Joel Ulises Menjibar Mendoza. Josué Neftalí Cibrián Hernández. Present teacher. All right. Karen Elizabeth García Carpio. Kimberly Vanessa Avalos Serrano. Manuel Alejandro Varillas Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Alemán de Santos. Present teacher. All right, thank you for your attendance. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Present teacher. All right, Monica. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Here. Great. Nelson Rolando Melgar. 
I'm here, teacher. All right. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. Present teacher. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here. Great. René David Calderón Peñate. Okay, that was, okay. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Great to know. Great to know, Sandra. Let me see. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. That sounds good. And Saul Arnulfo Mejibar Crespin. Present teacher, I'm here. Perfect, perfect. Thank you guys for your punctuality tonight. Let's get started. Needless to ask, no more time to waste. Oh, wait, I have some chats. Let's see what do we have. Oh, Karen, Elizabeth. Okay, and Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia. Okay, remember we call the attendance once again at the end of the session. So what have we, what have we, when uh, we have been studying a uh, two part verbs and we're going to continue discussing that topic. Hello, Let's we're watch now this moving out. to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following example. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Plus a particle. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting information, guys, as you may see. We have a lot of uh, options, you know, when talking about two-part verbs. And it's very interesting how the meaning changes with a different particle, right? Like, for example, put, the verb put, right? Put off. To postpone something, right? To postpone something. Just put to place something and put off to postpone something. Can someone uh, provide an example using put off? May I teacher? Go ahead, please. Uh, put off your medical appointment. 
Yes, that's right. Um, you need to put off your medical appointment because, you know, there's no room. There's no availability. Excellent. Somebody else wants to provide one example using put off. Practice your English now. Go ahead. Put off a test. Put off the test. Teacher, please, can you put off the test? <laughs> yes, definitely. It matches. Thank you so much. Good practice. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. To postpone something, right? Put off. Let put me off see. means to postpone. I want to use something else. Let's see here. Okay. When we use the pronouns, for example, him, yeah, pick pick him up, pick him up, repeat, pick him up. 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 Or, or he keeps putting it, 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 it. He keeps, he keeps putting it off. Putting it off. Putting it. Putting it. Putting it. Putting it. Putting it. Putting it off. Or, or call her back. 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 Can you can you can you uh, provide one example using the pronoun me? Me. Call me back. Call me back. Correct. Call me back. What else? Can you give another example using the uh, the pronoun me? For example, call me back. What else? Take me up. Take me up. Okay. Take me up. Maybe I can't move or I have difficulties uh, to move, right? So take me up. Okay. Good. Good. What else? I did. I did. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I did. I did. I did uh, call, call back tomorrow. Uh, call me back. Call, call, me, back call me back tomorrow. Back. Okay. Sorry, call me back tomorrow. Yes. Can you use the object pronoun? Uh, let me see. Us. Other. Us. For we. For us. we. The object pronoun is. Us. Us. U.S. Can, you, can somebody give one example using us? Call us back. Call us back. Call us back. Okay. Thank you. Another one? Pick us up. Pick us up. Up. Yes, pick us up at the stadium. Yeah, pick us up tomorrow after work. Uh, pick us up. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's use the object for the subject they. The pronoun is them, right? Can you give one example using them? Pick them up to the class. Pick them up. Okay, pick them up from call class. Call them back. Class. Call them, call them back. Okay, okay, yes, call them back. Excellent. Good examples. Let's move on. Okay, so to put off is to postpone. To postpone, yeah? Put on is to cover your body with clothes, put on your jacket, put on your hoodie, yeah? Put on your accessories, put on your pajamas after the class, right? Um, and put back to return something to its original place, put back. Any question with this uh, two part verbs? This is very easy though, but there okay. are others that are more complicated. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, put on is like to say, uh, take on. Take on, no, it's different. It's different. 
is different. Yeah, put on is similar to the verb wear, wear. right? Like okay. like W E A R. Wear, wear like yes. wear your clothes, wear your T-shirt, uh, wear your jacket, your pants. Yeah, so more technical, more advanced is to say put on because put it's on. a two-part verb, right? You are oh, intermediately yeah. sounds more advanced. Good job, good job. Put on, put on your, put on your tie. Yeah, put on your tie. Yeah, put on. And let's see. Put back. Return to its original place. So that's what we have. We're gonna see now some uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation is really important, guys, uh, when it comes about uh, two-part verbs and the whole language overall. We're gonna notice the stress. Notice the stress. Let's check it out. pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, we will listen one more time to it. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two stress. Pick up. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice this real quick. This. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. <sighs> Repeat, pick up the toys. Pick up the pick toys. Up the to pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. So the stress level, the, the volume level is the same for both, for both particles, for those expressions. Pick and up, same stress. Turn off the light. Repeat. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off. Turn off the light. 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 Next. Pick the toys up. Say, pick the toys up. 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 Excellent. Excellent. That's native pronunciation, guys. Let's go next. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. When you link light with off, light off. Light off. 
Turn the light up. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. One more time. Turn the light off. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Let's go next. Pick them up. 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 Next. Turn it off. 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 You have listened to this. Okay. You have listened to the stress. Go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, can you pronounce the first one, please, at the count of two, three, one, go. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Cut it off. Cut it off. Okay, this one. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. Let's start over. This one is pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up, pick up our, our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Okay, next, next. It says, cut it out. 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 One more time. Cut it out. 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 Next. Drop me off. 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 Which is the opposite of of pick me up, and the opposite drop me off. 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 Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. The radio up. The radio up. Okay, okay. The radio. The radio. Radio. Turn the radio. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Okay, last one. Put the phone down. 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 Everybody, everybody, everybody. Three, two, one. Starting from the first one. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Radio up. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Okay. Awesome, guys. Good job. Good job. Congrats. Let's move on. Next objective is making requests using module verbs such as can, could, would, and would you mind plus a gerund, okay? Do you guys know what is a gerund? Can you tell me what a gerund is? The verb ending in with ing. 
Or That's mean? correct. Verbs ending with ing. Can you brainstorm verbs ending with ing? It's a very impressive. Can you brainstorm, Gerents? Working. Working. Playing. Yes, I, I am Playing. working right now. <laughs> Swimming. Swim oh, dreaming. Okay. Swimming. Playing. All right. Cooking. Cooking, of course. Studying. I'm sorry? Studying. I don't understand. Studying. Studying. Yes, studying. No. Studying. Like right now, studying. right? Excellent. Studying. Excellent. Good job. Let's go to the material. Thank you. Listening. Listening, mm -hmm. of course. Learning. Request. Requests. Let's go here. Let's go here. Pay attention to the video about requests. Here it goes. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, now let's go ahead and analyze this video Notice together. when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Okay, let's go ahead and pronounce. Let's go ahead and pronounce. Let's go ahead and pronounce module plus simple form of B. Okay, simple form of B. Module plus simple form of B. Here we go. Can you turn the stereo off? Can you turn the stereo off? Okay. Could you close the door, please? Would you close the door, please? Would you close the door, please? Would you please take the garbage out? Would you please take the garbage out? Pronounce take. 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 I need I need the K sound there. Cake. Take. 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 Would you please would you please take your garbage out? 
Would you please Would take you the garbage out? Would you please take the garbage, 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 garbage out? out? Say garbage. 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 Let's go, Eugene. Uh, would you mind class at Jaron? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Turning, guys. Stereo turning. 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 Stereo. Stereo. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting the garbage here? Now notice that this last one is negative, right? Would you mind not, not putting, not doing, not going, etc. Okay. Not putting the garbage here. Excellent. Garbage here. When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple formal verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? Okay, okay. Let's do something. We're going to prepare examples, okay? It's your turn to shine. You're going to prepare examples now. For, this is how it is. Please uh, may be omitted. More participation. Now, request when using could. Let's see. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with wood. Okay, that's very understandable. Notice the structure. Okay, we have a module verb. Model plus subject. Subject. Plus simple form of verb. You should. So that would be, for example, could you, right? Would you, right? And using the verb. Okay, can you guys uh, prepare one example using this structure? Can you say the example or can you chat the example in the chat channel? Go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay, Alejandro, no problem, Alejandro, as long as you participate. Go ahead. Participation time. Say your example or chat your example. Go ahead. May I, teacher? Go ahead, please. Uh, can you call me again, please? Can you call me uh, Polish Polish again? Again. 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 There you can go. Can you call me again, please? Sweet. Thank you so much. Next example, please. Me, teacher. Can please. You can you again? I'm sorry, can you please repeat? <laughs> That's my request. <laughs> can you please repeat? Uh, can you repeat again? Can you repeat again? Again. 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 Uh, remember Teacher, that. Go ahead. Uh, for what, what, what is the reason because we use my, for example, when we say, would you mind turning this stereo down? Why, why do we use mine? Yeah. 
It's an expression. It's a polite expression. I mean, only mine has a meaning, right? Only the word mine. Yeah. But would you mind? Would you mind? That's a polite expression for asking requests. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's continue with more examples. Remember. Can you see my hand? Wait, 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 wait. I can't. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> this is an example. Look. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. Give me one second. Oh, eh, Jose. Sí. Este, Go ahead. Na, discúlpeme, solamente desde ayer veo que a veces la pantalla, no sé si solo a mí me pasa, que se me se queda pañosa y no logro leer. Se queda, digamos, cuando usted comparte la pantalla, a veces, algún, a veces algunas este, letras se ven pañosas, no se ve muy bien el Jerry Green. Does that happen to you guys? Does that happen to all of you? Solo a mí me pasa, quizá. Do you have the same problem? Yes, me too. Me too, yes, me too. Me too, teacher. Me too. Okay, what we usually do when that happens is that I A stop. Simple form of verb. I stop sharing. You in um it's only no, that, that que se pone it's only the one minute on two minutes in my class. Por ejemplo, la última vez de pick up, cuando estuvimos las últimas, yo la vi pañosas e igual ayer. Mm. Eh, quizás, teacher, In la resolución case, donde uh, corre el video. Uh, one minute. The resolution. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Maybe I'm going to modify the resolution. Give me one second. Yeah. Usually, we add the word. Is it here? No, esta es la velocidad, yes, right? Sí. Sí. Creo que hay una figurita como de un engranaje, no sé si ahí es. No se ve desde configuración. Acá. Let me see. No, I think I can't do that. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? I think it's for some moments. I can see, teacher. I can see. Ahorita sí, se arregló. Mm, that's very strange. Sí, pero a veces así queda y a veces no se puede leer bien, por eso no quedo con duda. At the end of the request, when you Pensé que solo a mí me pasaba. And we use please okay, thank you for letting us know. Thank you, sir. To make a stronger emphasis on the So, can you give me can you give me form of Can you give me more examples using a uh, request, please, guys? Could you my open the door, please? Would you mind? Okay, would you mind? But but go back to go back to this structure: module, subject, verb. May Could I? you please? Yes, go ahead. Um, could you drop off my mother in the church, please? Amazing, amazing. No correction, no observation. That's great. Next, please. May I, teacher? Please go ahead. Uh, would you like to go with me? Would you like, uh, let's polish your pronunciation with would. Would. Would, uh -huh. would you would like you... to go with me? Fabulous, fabulous. Would you like, uh, <laughs> like, 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 would you like, would you like to go with me? Yes, fabulous. Next, please. Could you, uh, Can could you, you make the cake now? Can you make the cake now? Okay, could pronounce. You, yeah, could you, could you uh, play football with me? Okay, pronunciation, could. Could, could you, could, could you, could you, could could you play you with play. me? Could you play soccer could with play. me? Yes. Play soccer with me. Excellent, excellent. Nice participation. Okay, let's go with, would you mind? Let's check. Usually we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. Would, Jaren, compliment. We're going to say, would you mind? Would you mind? Yes. When we use the entire expression, would you mind? The verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. 
would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement? We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also... Okay, give examples with would you mind. Go ahead. Would you mind? Would you mind playing soccer with me? Fabulous. Would you mind playing soccer with me? Yes. Put that intonation for the question. Yes. Go ahead. Next. Next, next, next. Produce the language. Produce the language, intermediates. Would, would you cook in mind? Help me, please? Would you mind helping me? Would you mind helping me, please? Would you, would you mind cooking? Cook? Would you mind cooking? <laughs> I would. would cook? I would. <laughs> okay, nice. Next. Would you mind turning the TV, please? Yeah, I know. Turning the TV down. Down, please. Mm -hmm. or, or, or turning the TV off, depending on of what you need, right? Yes. All right, thank you for your participation. Next, please. Would you mind studying English with me? Nice. I like that one. Would you mind studying English with me? Put me a little more uh, rising intonation. Yeah, for your question. Okay. Studying okay. with me. Yes. Would Next. you mind studying English with me? Mm -hmm. Next. Guys, would you, would you would mind you giving more examples, please? <laughs> Sure. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Would you mind walking with me, please? All right. All right. No problem. All right. Awesome. I like it. Creativity. Creativity. Go ahead. Would you mind drinking a cup of coffee? Uh, just polish the pronunciation here with wood. Yes. Wood. Wood. Would, 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 you, would you mind... Drinking a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember that the letter L is voiceless. Yeah? The letter L okay. is voiceless, so you say would. The letter O would. is voiceless. You don't pronounce. Okay. You pronounce okay. the letter U. Would. Would you mind? Would, would you mind? Would you mind swim? Mm, would you mind swim or swimming? Swimming. <clears throat> would you mind swimming? Yes. Would you mind swimming? Excellent. Continue, continue, continue. Give more, give more, give more. Would you mind, would you mind working with me? Wait, 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 wait. The girls, the ladies. Would you mind what? Yes, lady? Lady first. Would you mind close the door? Okay, but what happened with this? ING. Close? Closing. Closing. Yes. Can you repeat your example, honey? Would you mind closing the door? Yes. Would you mind closing the door? Now, now remember that your intonation is going up because it's a question. Would you mind closing the door? Yeah. Would you mind closing the door? Now the gentleman. Now the gentleman. It's your turn, gentlemen. Go ahead. Would you mind working with me, please? All right. I like that one. I have no correction on that one. Good intonation, good pronunciation, good grammar. Next, would please. You would yes? you mind dancing? Would you mind dancing? <laughs> okay. Would you mind dancing? It will be necessary for you to add something else, like, uh, would you mind dancing with me? With me, yes. Uh -huh. or, or would you mind dancing some bachata music later? Yeah. <laughs> would you mind walking with hair, please? Okay, okay. Would you mind, guys, would you mind correcting your mistakes? That's a good one. Someday. Would All you right. mind traveling with me? Ooh. Would you mind traveling with me? Would you mind paying? Would you mind paying lunch today? <laughs> would you mind eating? Would you would you mind uh, eat eating 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 with uh, yes with me 
Yes, would you mind eating Only with for me? with me, teacher. Uh, <laughs> All or, right, not a problem. Or other uh, subjects. We can we can use other subjects. Definitely, we can. Now, I want you to use I want you to use a negative request. Okay. Let's practice this negative request. Would you mind not? Would you mind not, Jaron, and compliment? Mm, would you mind not going out with me? Would you mind not going out with me? Ooh, okay. <laughs> so you want to you want to have privacy? That's okay. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Still, still, regardless if it's negative, the intonation still goes up. Still goes up. It's rising intonation because this is still a question, right? Okay. Come on. Provide your examples in negative requests. Go ahead. Would you mind not playing soccer with Dan? Now, be very careful. Be very careful on this pronunciation, okay? This pronunciation, it's not. not. Not, not. Other, other than that, uh, I will understand. But uh, native speaking, uh, not, not. And I, I need to listen to that. I need to listen to that clearly. Would you mind not? not? Would you mind not? And then the gerund. Would you mind not smoking in the classroom? Would you mind not parking your car over there? Okay, would you mind not speaking in Spanish in this class? Yeah, I'm all ears. Go to you to provide your negative requests. Volunteers? Would you mind not putting your shoes away here? All right, all right, thank you. Next. Would you mind not working with me? Okay, other person that needs privacy. Okay, next, thank you. Well, you oh, might you... not traveling with me. Okay, okay. But Polish this pronunciation, please, is highly important. Would. Would you might yes. not traveling with me. And remember, guys, that for this expression, for this expression, you only use the modal verb would. Okay? You cannot say other modal verb rather than would, okay? Jess, provide your example, go ahead. Okay. Would you mind not parking the car in front of the van? Correct, correct. That's a very formal way to ask for a request in a negative manner. Please continue, I need to hear more. This is like music for me. Continue, who's next? Would you Ooh. mind, would you mind not uh, Eating uh, spicy food. Spicy food, and you know spicy what? Food. I still, I still kind of catch the L sound in your pronunciation. Be careful, okay? okay wood, spicy. Wood. 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 You mind? Wood. Okay. Not eating spicy. Spicy food. Spicy food. <clears throat> okay. Who was next? Who was next? Me, coach. You. Okay, I want to hear that gentleman. Who's that? Who's that? Me, René. René, René. Okay, René, okay. go ahead. Uh, would you mind not sitting close to me, please? Yes, because the other person uh, may not be wearing a face mask. So nowadays, social distancing, right? Social distancing. I like that one. I like that one. Creativity, guys. Creativity. Who's next? Would you mind not watch TV now? Please? Would you mind not watching TV? Yes. Would you now, mind please. not watching TV now? Would you mind not watching TV at this time? Please, please makes it even more formal. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Would you mind not drinking alcohol? Okay, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor and can you please? Okay, um, because I'm I'm catching some maybe mispronunciations on wood. Okay, wood, and I want you to stress this sound. Mind, mind, the letter D. Mind. Would you mind? Would you mind? Okay. Would you mind not? Would you mind not? Mind, mind. 
Okay. Would you mind? Not, yes. Yes. Would you mind not learning English? <laughs> it's an example. This is an example. It's a very bad request, but according to grammar, is correct. So, what can I say? <laughs> Next. Would you mind going to the bank? Would you mind going to the bank? Would you mind paying your bills? <laughs> Would you mind, guys, I have, I, I, would you mind not? Would you mind not? It's negative. Would you mind not um, having a day off? Would you mind not smoking? Would you mind not smoking here? Yeah. Would you mind not smoking in this area? Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, would you mind not um, fighting with me here? <laughs> okay, outstanding. Thank you. Who's next? Okay, that's the end of the participations. Guys, you're doing great. You're doing great. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on a discussion box? I have no. one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Would you lend your toothbrush, guys? Would you would you lend your toothbrush to somebody, guys? You know what is your toothbrush? No, nah, teacher, not the uh, that is icky, I guess. <laughs> so you say, you say, no, I wouldn't. You say, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> Definitely, that's disgusting, right? With my dog, I, I know. <laughs> now, now, that was an unusual request. Let me say, okay. So, can you think? Can you think of a very unusual request now? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you two minutes to to think and to get ready with an unusual request because asking for a toothbrush, that's totally unusual. Hey, um, would you mind lending me your toothbrush? I, I need to, you know, brush my teeth, what, right? So that's unusual. Two minutes, prepare one unusual request. You can use any structure. You can use any structure, would you mind? Or you can use module, right? Subject and the other structure. I'll give you two minutes and I wanna laugh. I wanna laugh when I come back. Two minutes, prepare it. Already, already, I'm all ears. Tell me your unusual requests. Volunteer, who is a volunteer for an unusual request? May I, teacher? Okay, Brian, go ahead. Uh, would you mind not uh, kissing your sister? <laughs> That's funky. That's 
funky. Okay, Brian, you have a point. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Somebody else? Unusual request. Would you mind not having a coffee? Oh, okay, thank you, Emma. Next. Would you mind not playing basketball with your friends? That's common. That's common. It's correct. It's not unusual, like crazy, crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely correct. Thank you. Who's next? Would you mind staying up all night? Would you mind not staying up? Yes. Would you mind not staying up all night? Can you repeat that, please, Josie? Would you mind staying up all night? Oh, would you mind staying up all night? <laughs> it's difficult, but yeah, it's possible. And Emma's uh, teacher, okay, would you mind not having a coffee? Okay, Jess, uh, a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee. Emma, would you mind not having a cup of coffee? And you put the question mark at the end for grammar purposes. Okay, thank you, guys. Let's go over the attendance. Let's go over the attendance. By the way, I received in my WhatsApp, I received only two homeworks uh, today uh, from the one I asked you yesterday okay so so I'm gonna I'm gonna assign you tomorrow's homework and tomorrow we have class guys tomorrow we are going to have class normal class tomorrow okay okay teacher and what is your cell phone yes, number teacher. teacher my cell phone number Yes, uh, for uh, sending the homework. Okay, seven six five zero five four five five. It's on the chat now. Um, the homework for tomorrow is chatting, chatting a non-usual request on the WhatsApp chat during the day. You have all day long until five p.m. to chat your unusual request. Okay. Okay, teacher, uh, could you repeat your number, please? Okay. I, I, I couldn't write. <laughs> it's 76 76 50 50 54 54 55. 55. Five. Five, five. Okay, it's teacher, thank you. Let's go over the attendance. Let's go over the attendance real quick. <clears throat> Ana Julia Mayorga Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Brian, Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Claudia Beatriz yeah. Ramos de Mos. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Got it. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Present teacher. Got it. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Here teacher. Okay, Agacha. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Mm, here teacher. Got you here. Okay. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. Oh, here teacher. Okay, thank you. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Thanks. It is Rosario Benitez Head de Hernandez. Here, teacher. Okay, Joel Eulises Mejibar Mendoza. Here I am, teacher. Okay, I appreciate that. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. I'm here, teacher. Welcome to today's class, Miss. Thank you. Kimberly Vanessa Avalo Serrano. Still absent. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm his teacher. All right. Thanks for being there. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Here. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. 
missing in action. I Pablo here, Reyes. Teacher. Oh, you're there, Oscar? Okay. Okay. Yes, I am here. Perfect, Oscar. Thank you. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David I'm Calderón here. Peñate. Okay, Patricia. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, René, thank you. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. I'm here, teacher. Saul Arnulfo Mejibar Crespin. Present. Perfect. Guys, you did absolutely amazing tonight. I expect for your chat, surprise me, make me laugh tomorrow with your unusual requests. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow at the same place. All right? Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye -bye. Take it easy. Night. Night, night. Bye.